my kitchen. Today is March 3rd. And you guys, I'm so excited because today is my dude number ones, AKA my husband, his birthday. So I'm excited that it's his birthday and I'm making this cake just for him. Now, this is his favorite cake, sorta kinda. And I say sorta kinda because he loves the Duncan Hines yellow box cake with chocolate icing. Now, not just any chocolate, it has to be the milk chocolate. But he loves Duncan Hines. But today, I'm gonna make it pound cake style. And he also loves that the batter looks a little yellow. You know, it kind of has that yellow buttery look. Okay, I got something for that too. So that's what we're making today for his birthday. Now, secondly, I'm also excited because if you're watching this video, the day it uploads, which is March 4th, it's National Pound Cake Day. So happy National Pound Cake Day. And you guys, this is another reason I'm excited as well. I was contacted by a subscriber. Her name is Natalie. And Natalie wanted to let me know that in honor of National Pound Cake Day, she was going to make my vanilla pound cake for beginners and she was going to share it on her channel for National Pound Cake Day. Now let me tell you what's so special and sweet about Natalie is that Natalie is a 35 year old woman and she has cerebral palsy. And in her having this disability, Natalie said that despite her disability, she was on a quest to learn how to bake and cook. You guys, this is just so amazing. Her personality is larger than life. She even referred to herself as a dudette. <laughs> and she is just the sweetest. So shout out to Natalie. This is her channel information. And when she contacted me, she wanted to know, she let me know she was going to do my vanilla cake. She was going to upload it on her channel. And she said that she would be honored if I watched it. Honored if I watched it, I'm honored, Natalie, that you even wanted to do my cake and share it on your channel. So I said, not only will I watch it, honey, we're going to talk about you over here, Beautiful Two Creations, and we're going to share it with all of our other family members. So you guys, I'm going to link Natalie's video because it went live today. It should have gone live earlier this morning. By now, I've already watched it, I'm sure. But it, it went live today, so I'm going to link Natalie's video down in the description box below as well. So you all, please go over and tell Natalie hello, support her, support her channel. Make sure that you tell her that Miss Donna sent her over there, okay? So again, shout out to Natalie. Thank you so much, Natalie, for even considering my cake to do on National Pound Cake. Oh my goodness, National Pound Cake Day. So thank you again. All right, now on to this recipe for my dude number one. I'll be using three cups of Swan's Down cake flour and half teaspoon of baking powder and also I'm going to add in this box of vanilla jello and it is the 5.1 ounce box. Okay? So I have the jello, pudding, the cake flour, the baking powder already measured out here. And I sifted it one more time. Now Swan's Down comes pre-sifted for you in the box. But once I get it and add the other dry ingredients that I want to add, I like to sift it one more time. Then we have one fourth teaspoon, I'm sorry, yes, one fourth teaspoon of salt. 
I always get the salt and bacon powder mixed up sometimes. And then we have three cups of sugar. And I'm going to do this one with cream cheese, with eight ounces of cream cheese. It is room temperature. But my husband has mentioned several times that he likes how the cakes seem to be um, more, more moist with the cream cheese. So we're going to do cream cheese. But I'm also going to add half cup of milk because I added that, um, that larger box of pudding. Okay, so this is half cup of milk. It too is room temperature. I have three sticks of butter here. It is unsalted and it is room temperature as well. Then we have five large eggs that I've already cracked. They are room temperature. And then I'm going to be adding a little bit of my cream bouquet. Bakery in a bottle. That's just what I call it. I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla. I'm going to add a little bit of butter extract. And then to give it more of that little yellow color that he likes, we're going to add just a drop or two of yellow gel, uh, gel food coloring. And then for my ganache or glaze, I'm doing this milk <sighs> chocolate. Now for those of you who um, are in my local area and you guys have gone to see Miss Lou at Kitchen Cake Magic for the cream bouquet, <laughs> I don't know if you checked out everything, but these little chocolate wafers that melt, she has different kinds. You guys, I'm going to tell you, I had more in this bag, but I've been eating them because they are so good. So if you guys go, make sure you check out these little a little chocolate wafers that melt so easily, okay? All right. Is that everything? Of course, we're baking on 325. We're going to get this oven preheated. So we finish mixing this cake. It'll be ready. I think that's it. Of course, I have thoroughly washed my hands. Don't be in the kitchen with nasty hands. Because that's just nasty. I'm starting by adding my three sticks of softened butter to my mixing bowl. And to that I'm going to add my salt. And I'm also going to add my extracts. And I'm adding my extracts during this part of the mixing process or the very beginning. The salt. So that all of these extracts will get incorporated throughout this delicious batter at the very beginning of this process. Okay? And not just at the end. I used to add them at the end. But now we're adding them at the beginning. As you see, I do not measure, honey. We just squeeze and go. But if you want measurements, you can do about a teaspoon, a couple of teaspoons, a tablespoon, whatever you like. The max I've probably done was maybe about a tablespoon. But as I was saying, that and if the cream bouquet, you really don't need a whole lot of it. So maybe start with about half teaspoon, okay, if you're using cream bouquet. You don't have to use cream bouquet. It's not necessary. You can do this cake just using the vanilla. But um, those of you that have been with me for a while, you know I love cream bouquet. So I'm going to start mixing, and I'm going to mix this butter to get it real creamy. I'm going to mix the butter by itself for a couple of minutes. And then once I get it mixed up for just a few minutes by itself, I'm going to slowly start adding these three cups of sugar. 
Now once I add the three cups of sugar, I'm going to continue to cream and I'm going to cream for about 10 minutes. So this whole process is going to take me about 12 minutes because I'm going to stop a couple of times and scrape down my bowl. If you do not have a mixer that does that scraping for you, make sure you stop and scrape down your bowl because what you'll realize is that your butter, butter and sugar some of it starts to collect on the side of the bowl. And if it's up here and not down in the bowl, then that means it's not getting properly creamed or creamed at all at that, at that point, okay? So we're gonna do this and then once we, once I cream this butter and sugar, I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna come back because your, your butter and sugar needs to be light and fluffy. You don't wanna hear those sugar crystals mixing around in the bottom of your bowl and it needs to be light and fluffy. And I'm gonna stop and show you what light and fluffy looks like. You can't skip on this part. You can't get impatient and say, I do it for a minute or two and then I'm ready to, you can't. This is very important in the mixing process of your pound cake. Why y'all let me do that? I'm about three or four minutes into my creaming process and just realized again, me and this cream cheese. So what I should have done was added the cream cheese and the butter and creamed that together, then added my sugar. It's not gonna be a big deal, but I declare, if I don't have this opened up and laid out with that butter, I will forget. So, we are adding the cream cheese now. Okay, I'm glad I had only been creaming just a couple of minutes and not nine, 10 minutes in. Well, somebody out there hollering, Miss Donna, Miss Donna. You forgot the cream cheese again. <laughs> oh my goodness, I bet somebody was out there hollering for me. Okay, so, but look, since I've stopped, you guys see how this butter and sugar has collected on the side. Look at all that. Scrape all that down, okay? Scrape all that down so it can get creamed. All that came off the side. So take the time to scrape down your bowl, okay? All right. Now we finished creaming and the creaming is going to look a little different when you do the cream cheese, okay? As opposed to just creaming with the butter and the sugar. But this is light and fluffy. So now what we're going to do, and I don't know if I mentioned, but when I do my creaming, you guys, I do set a timer, okay? So now we're going to add our eggs. We're going to turn our mixer down. And we're going to add our eggs. We're going to turn it down a little bit. So usually when I cream, I'm creaming on about nine with this mixer. And when I turn it down to add my eggs, I usually turn it down maybe to about 
six, five, six. Okay, so we're gonna add the eggs one at a time. And when I add my eggs, you just wanna add, you wanna mix long enough to just kinda mix in that yolk. It doesn't take long at all. You wanna just add it and mix it for just a few seconds, okay? Sometimes when I try to add one egg, two egg falls in, it's okay. If that happens, then mix a few seconds longer because you've added two eggs at a time as opposed to one. Now once we get the eggs added, now it's time to start adding our dry and wet ingredients and we're going to alternate. So you'll see me add a little bit of the flour and then you'll see me add a little bit of the milk. Now we only have half a cup so honey this is going to run out really quick. Okay. I think I'll alternate about two times and that's gone. But you start with flour you end with flour. So I'm going to add flour, mix it for a few minutes, a few seconds, not minutes, honey. You don't want to over mix this process because this too could also cause your cake to be dense and heavy and fall and all of that terrible stuff that you do not want to happen. So when you're adding in the dry ingredients and alternating with the, the wet, it doesn't take long to do this process at all. It takes the longest to cream the butter and sugar. This only takes a couple of minutes, okay, like literally. So we're adding the eggs, then we're going to add the flour, milk, and alternate. So you'll see me add the first little bit of flour, then you'll see me add milk, and I know I'm recapping again. And then you'll see me end with flour, but I won't show you that whole back and forth process. Like I say, you guys, there's some folk who really want to learn how to bake, and the more I repeat it, it helps them get it, you guys. Okay. Now what I'm going to do to give my dude number one that little yellow butter color, we're going to add a couple of drops in here. Um, that way I won't forget to put it in so it'll just go in when I pour that milk in. And if that's not quite yellow enough, then I can always just add a little bit more. Alright, let's finish getting this cake mixed up so we can get it baked. did stop my mixer a couple of times to scrape down my bowl so you all make sure you stop and do that and now I'm just gonna stir just a little bit more to make sure I have everything incorporated scrape under the bottom as well okay I have thoroughly sprayed my cake pan with Baker's Joy my oven is ready let's see can we pour this a little bit Maybe a little bit, a 
let it plop in. Ooh, that's a little too slow. Too slow. You guys see how that food color gave just a little, that little hint of yellow. To satisfy my dude number one. Okay, so now we're trying to get the batter, get the batter as level as possible, so we won't have a lopsided cake. under the bottom to release air bubbles. Okay. Shake, shake, shake. We're going in. 325. Set the timer for an hour and 15 minutes. I'll probably check it about an hour and 10. I'll definitely be able to smell it by the end. an hour and 10 minutes. Isn't it pretty? So now we sit here and cool before we flip it for at least, I'm going to cool at least 10 minutes. We will continue to cool before we add our chocolate. Now for my ganache, I have about a cup and a half of heavy whipping cream. And I'm just going to pour it over my um, chocolate. It's been on the stove and it's just started to simmer. You don't want to boil it, but it's just started to simmer and I'm just going to pour it over. Trying to make sure you guys can see. And I don't want to add too much. That was about a cup and a half. I may not need that much because I don't want it too loose. So, probably could have used maybe a little more than a cup, but I'm going to let it sit for about two or three minutes and then as it melts I'm going to stir it and I'm going to add about a tablespoon and a half of this corn syrup that's going to kind of give me that glossiness and just a little bit of pure vanilla. So once this is ready then we'll be ready to start glazing our cake. Okay so we're going to add our corn syrup. And then to that, we're going to add just a little bit of vanilla. And stir, stir, stir. Look how pretty this chocolate looks. And I want it. I guess a little thick. A little thick. And then we will go a little thinner with it, probably.
Well, here is my husband's birthday cake. It's just a pound cake. It has a yellow tint on the inside and this chocolate goodness of a thick glaze or ganache on the outside. Because, honey, we were not doing no Duncan Hines. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Hey, guys. Guess what? Happy birthday. I'm half 100 plus 15 minus 10. Happy Divided by two. Birthday. Happy birthday. What is this? That's a lot. What's that? <laughs> it is time. You interrupted my musical. What's what's don't bring me to no open shame. I'm gonna need you to answer this question right now. Don't bring me to no open shame, don't what's, what's your I favorite shame? cake? What cake do you like? I mean on the real real. Hold on. What, what cake do you like? I like um I like the cake um with um when it when it with the vanilla or the lemon either the, the middle white and the chocolate on it. Why? But what's the brand? Duncan Hines. Why? Girl, I'm married Duncan. by Duncan Hines. Woo! She gonna kill me. You better be, you better be glad that I ain't dropped it. Woo! Y'all, that knife is sharp. That's all right. It landed on the stove. I told the family that you like Duncan Hines box cake. That's right. Box cake. That's a big piece. Oh, I'm doing better. You can't give me them big pieces. Ooh, give me a Oh, I just need it. Ooh. Now that I is... just need it so it'll, um... Ooh-wee. That's a lava in the middle. What's that? That's a what? Oh, that's... <laughs> look, y'all. It look like lava. Let's see how the cake trying to come out the middle. That's the area. Okay, babe, you're going to have to back up. See how the cake... The, not the cake. The icing. Hey, come back up. On the right, on the right. You should know the drill right. by now. On the right, on the right, on the right. To the right, to the right, to the right. Okay. Yes. That lava is mm -hmm. coming out. Let's taste it. Here you go, baby. I'm going to give you a piece. That's what we doing? Yeah, I'm going to give you a piece back there. It's you your go. birthday. I'm going to let you get away with it today. Thank you, baby. I just want to make sure I'm, I'm, I'm blessing you real good. Your, your pound cake. It is my pound cake. How is it so more so moist? It's, that's real moist. What is that? This pudding I put in. I put pudding in. I told you I, I could taste. You always know what somebody do. Now this time I put the larger box of pudding, pudding rather than the small, and it did make it more moist, did mm -hmm. it? It was very moist, very very moist. I think I like it better with the small box. Go ahead, babe. Feel free. Okay, let me just get, let me taste it again. Cause it there did. you go, babe. Feel free. That larger box makes it really, really moist. Really moist. I mean, really, really moist. Mm -hmm. Real. True story, everybody. But I think my preference is the one box. My preference. Well, oh, and I also did cream cheese because I know you say you like, you notice with the cream cheese, it's, it makes so a, is this a the moisture big case. Cake this moisture. the big box of pudding plus cream cheese? Yes. But I usually I've done cream cheese before and a smaller box of pudding. This is good. I think it's this is moist. Is it is it a such thing as it being too moist? Do you think it's too moist? It is moist, isn't it? I'm okay, and see that's what I want you to do. Really guys, time. this is very, it's very really, moist. Really this moist. Is, it almost feels like um it seems like you got to you can't let that sit long. You're gonna have to really eat, eat, get rid of it. Well, we, we get rid of it. But I know we do, but what you mean? I mean because you're taking it to work. I don't like them no more, darling. What you mean you don't like them no more? I don't like my coworkers. Oh my goodness! But look, that's the difference in. Let me taste one more piece. I'm serious because I can. No, I don't. I, you don't have to give me the corner. Okay, man. I'm gonna give you. Go ahead. No, because I'm trying because to. I know you're doing better. I'm gonna help you. I ain't better. saying I'm doing better, but I'm trying to. 
It's very moist. Turn it on. I'm trying to see what it. What's a really light, fluffy, fluffy soft cake? Is it like a um? It's that's what I said. It's fluffy. It's moist. It's I don't want. Do I want to say sponge cake? I don't know what I want to. Yeah, I don't know. It's doggone good, but it's it's it's. Well, it's good, it but it's different. It and I can tell by your expression when you first taste it. You know, wait a minute, something just different. It is. If you like a really moist, 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 moist cake. Really. This is a very more cake right here. Very and it's really soft. I prefer it with the smaller box, not the larger box. No. What? I like the larger box. This is good. No, I thought you... You can get... Don't slob. You're going to lose your birthday <laughs> coupon if you slob. Are you serious? No, you can really lose yourself with this cake because... Are you... It's, it's, it's very moist and it's very, very... um. It's light, so you can eat a lot. You, you ate more. more of it. You ate more of it. Did you before you realize what you don't did? You really don't eat quite this a is, bit. This is different. So this see, is, I didn't think you were gonna like. I don't. Me personally, I don't care for. I think it's too moist for me. I guess so I like maybe a denser cake. No, this is that's what I, I don't like. I mean, I ain't gonna say I'm, that's what I, just I mean don't, when it's I say not my it. preference. I mean because it tastes fine. That's what I mean when I say this is not your pound cake. Because your pound cake has more density too. Okay. This is very, very So I mean, that very pack of cream cheese early. and then that large box of that pudding. See, it wouldn't have been as moist. Mm -hmm. And then I did a half a cup of milk. This is good. For real? This is really, really no for real. Well, Y'all, this this is this is new to me. Mm. Uh, let me seriously, let me say this. I put okay, because I got something to say too. If they follow this recipe just like you did it. Mm -hmm. Just like you did. Honestly, guys, I would really love, and I'm, I'm not kidding, true story here. I would love for some of you guys to follow this to the ladder and then taste it. This is the moistest cake I've ever in my life tasted. And I'm not really? kidding. I'm, I'm not I am not playing. I am serious as can be. I thought this it was your facial expression that you weren't like this. No, my thing was it's different from all of the pound cakes I've taken. It's it different. Is. It's totally different. It's just like it's came out of left field. Spare me. This is so. Uh, whatever it is, but this is one dog on moist cake right here. I'm telling you, it's almost like you with that kind of moisture. It's gonna be interesting to see how it tastes tomorrow. What? Why? What? What's supposed to do? I mean, because you're taking it to work with you. I'm just saying, after it sits for a day. This cake is so moist. It's almost like. The dummies taste it. Jackson, it is dog on. I mean, it's, it's me. almost like I'm, I'm, my concern is you ever see like I've seen cakes. Okay if, 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 if a cake, cake is moist like that, it can easily um almost like um what is that like um the mold can pick up um oh yeah it it easily mold it'll spoil quicker. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's it's, it's it, it, God, this is one moist cake. Good lord. So and I am so, <laughs> this is a, but I really 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 like it. God Almighty, I can do bad with this one. Okay, now now I order this one here. Taste it. And this then is she got a corner anyway. More, I, I got she, my corner. She ended up with that corner anyway. She gonna get the corner. That's what dog almost can't cut it on. No you sir. Like it. So I want someone to please. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> That's what I said. Follow I, this to the ladder and tell me what you minute, think. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So what are you saying? What you think? I mean, you can look at it and tell it's moist. I, I, literally, you can look at it and see the juiciness. <laughs> Not, not the juicy cake. What's a juicy cake? But, but that's what it feels like—a juicy cake. Does it taste like it's too moist, though? I mean, mm. no, no. So that's why I'm saying y'all this. Like it's dry, and it's not. It's not dry. This, it's not dry. It's crazy, okay. right here. Y'all, this is real talk. When my husband first bit into the cake, I looked at his facial expression, and on the inside, I said, "Oh my goodness, he doesn't like it." And we're on camera. Um. I wasn't going to stop the camera because I always want his true, honest reaction. Anything that we do, you guys, it's not staged. It's, it's his true reaction. So, and him looking like that, I thought, oh my goodness, it's on camera. And it was going to stay on camera, but that's why I'm so surprised in that he's saying that he likes it. I, it's too moist for me. Let me reiterate once more, Tepron. Please, I just need someone to follow this to the ladder. Please follow this and tell me 
What you? Think? It's different. It's different from everything you it have made. In the, okay. Everything you have made, it is just different. Okay, well, if you got and look, you guys, it's, it's so also good. National Pound Cake Day. So this was National Pound Cake Day, and also I talked about Miss Natalie Fierce. Okay. Miss <laughs> Natalie, who I told you reached out to me about her channel and she was doing my easy vanilla she has cerebral palsy oh, and yes. she, she hard, was, she's doing hard. my vanilla pound cake for beginners right. for national pound Perfect. cake day yeah. so i was telling the subscribers uh our family members to go check out miss natalie yeah, don't forget do. to do that and not only did I go over and check out her channel? I forgot to tell you guys that I hit the nosy. Hit the nosy. So make sure you hit the nose on Miss Natalie's channel. But as I was getting ready to say, you made me lose my train of thought. If you try this cake, let me know. So what I did, I had that one pack of the cream cheese, half a cup of milk, and I used the large box of the vanilla pudding. If some of you guys try it, I'm just let me know what you think. To me, it's it's a little too moist for me. I like a denser cake, but. He scared me there for a minute, and I was gonna have to be honest and say, "Well, you guys, this—he really doesn't like it." No, really. What guys. could I have done? Really, but guys, I'm surprised. I'm, I am saying, I'm really am saying, just, just if they follow, I don't know what you did, but if I they follow that, that, that is one Morse cake, and I'm telling well, you, if you, you guys look at it and if tell you like Morse. a Morse, a very Morse cake, oh my goodness. I don't know where it's open. Now. I am. I'm, mm, I have that on, in the camera, but yeah, he loves it. So wait. Okay. I just knew you weren't gonna get no Duncan Hines today. Anyway, oh. happy birthday, babe. I'm so glad you you enjoy your cake. It's good. It's good. Ooh, it's good. Lord, y'all. I thought I was getting ready to get embarrassed on the YouTube today. <laughs> but I was gonna leave it because, like I said, I always want you guys. To get his honest opinion. And then I bet a lot of the family members were probably looking at, they probably said, Ooh, Mr. Dude, number one, don't like that. No, but no, it, it's, <laughs> it's, guys, but it's so different. I mean, when I say different, it's just, it's it's way out of left field. You expect with, with a pound cake, I guess more so the density to a pound cake. Yeah. And all of a sudden, this just came out of nowhere, and you're like, What okay. in the world? So it's, yeah. but it's, it's, it's very, very, very good. It's very, very good. I love it. I love it. Anyway, happy birthday, babe. And <laughs> hey. all y'all say happy birthday, dude, number one. I know you can't hear him, but. I, I, I hear him. You hear him? Put your ear close to the thing. I did. I hear him. I hear him. Oh, yeah. Somebody say it. It's oh. a whole bunch of them. Who is that was loud? <laughs> Well, thank you guys. We certainly appreciate you watching this video. Again, happy National Pound Cake Day. And Natalie, you go get them, girl. You go, go get, get them. It's Natalie Fierce. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Jason, did you get your cake? That's our grandbaby, you guys. Man, look. We already appreciate, uh, we not appreciate, we already look forward to you joining us again. The next time, next time, hit the nosy. Bye. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday.